Hey guys, so today I'm doing a tag video. I thought this one would be fun. Um, I was actually tagged by Crystal, and she is from, or her name, her channel name is called Makeup and Me. I hope I'm saying that right. So thank you, Crystal, for um, tagging me. I thought this would be um, kind of fun to do today because I have really nothing to do today, so I figured I'd make a video. But anyway, um, so this tag is the 11 most reached for products. So these are the products that I am grabbing constantly to use um, on a daily basis. So um, I picked 11 things. It was really hard for me to pick but because um, I feel like I use so many different products every day. But these are the ones I feel like is a must-have in my daily routine. I have to have these products. So I'm just going to start off, I have them all laid out in front of me, I'm just going to grab them and just explain them a little bit, and um, maybe you guys will even like to try them, but these are my faves. So I'm going to start off with um, kind of my, um, this, the products I use at the beginning of the day, morning and night actually, um, is my moisturizer. My moisturizer. This is the Purely Nourishing Moisturizer from Bare Essentials. I um, did a video on this before. I feel like I use this constantly. Um, I also use my um, eye creams with my moisturizer too. This one's the fir Firming Eye Treatment from Bare Essentials. And they just came out with a brand new one. Um, it comes out, I believe, this upcoming month. But they had a preview for one night for this product and I picked it up. And this is the Renew and Hydrate Eye Cream. So this is brand new. It's a little bit thicker consistency. Um, it's more of a cream, but I love this new eye cream. I kind of switch back and forth because um, this one's more for reducing puffiness around your eye area, and this one is for um, hydrating and it's um, for anti-aging. So it's going to help any wrinkles you have or prevent it in the future. So um, I use the mixture of those two, and then of course my moisturizer. If you want to know um, more about these two products in my blog, there's tons of information about them. I don't have this one yet, but I will add information to that part of the blog, but check my blog out if you want to know more about these. So definitely use those every day, all the time, morning and night. Okay, so the next product that, well, it's kind of two products that um, they kind of go together, so I figured I'd make this into one, is my eyelashes, my fake lashes. I have been using eyelashes for probably five years now I think um, I started wearing them in high school um, I have really small kind of almond shaped eyes and you've seen me in some videos when I have absolutely no makeup on my eyes are pretty tiny so um, once I started using false lashes I felt like I can't go back to not wearing any lashes because they just make such a big difference so um, I have to wear lashes. I wear them every single day. It's really rare for you not to see me without lashes on. So um, my go-to lashes that I've been wearing a lot, and I know you guys have been asking me what lashes I use, um, are my MAC um, 48s. I don't have them in here because I'm actually wearing them right now, but if you want to see um, a picture of what they look like, then um, I will actually make a blog about this tag, and I'll put a picture, but these lashes are my favorite. The one thing I don't like about these is that they're a dark brown. They're not a full, true black. So I do darken them up with the mascara a little bit. Um, I showed you how I do that in one video, but these are my best um, lashes that I've tried. So they're the number 48s from MAC. And of course, I use my Duo Glue. And this is the dark tone one. Um, I don't know, these together are awesome. I've tried tons of different lash glues, but this one has to be my favorite. This one also comes in clear, but um, I do like the dark tone better because it dries dark. So that's my second one that I picked. Um, another items that I kind of put together because um, I feel like they go together are my primers. So I have a face primer that I use every day. It's from Bare Essentials. I actually have two that I switch back and forth from. Um, so it's the Prime Time from Bare Essentials. I have the original one that I've been using recently and then I have the brightening one which is more of a golden tone that you can use if you want more of that kind of golden undertone, golden glow on your skin. So I kind of switch back and forth um, depending what kind of look I'm going for or what mood I'm in. These are my favorite primers. Um, they just make your 
makeup look flawless. Like, I will not put my foundation on without these. So, if you don't know a good um, primer to use, um, definitely recommend these. Um, they're from Bare Essentials and they are $21 and half a pump is good for your whole face. Like, all you need is that much. Not even that much. That's almost a little too much and that's one pump. So you can get away with half a pump for your whole face. So these last forever. Um, another thing that I decided um, that kind of goes along with the primers is my eye primer. Um, this is the basic one that I use. It just kind of goes... It, doesn't really have a color to it. It goes with every single eyeshadow. But I love these primers so much. Um, I have them in so many different finishes and colors. Um, these are actually new, the colored ones. Um, at Bare Essentials. I will actually be talking about these in um, my July favorites because they did come out in July. So um, just kind of keep out keep a lookout for um, that video because I will be making it um, probably sometime this week but these primers are amazing um, they just prevent creasing they make your shadow loss last all throughout the day um, I never have to touch up my eyeshadow and I feel like it makes my blending um, job a lot easier too so um, these primers from Bare Essentials are the best um, so yeah okay the next product that I say I would grab, so this would be number four product, um, is my Honey Rose Magically Cool Liquid Powder. Um, I know you guys have seen me use these in almost every single video. Um, I think it came out two months ago, um, but these are amazing for um, highlights. I use this for a cheek highlight every day. Um, I do like a strong highlight on my cheekbones, as you can see, but I think it just gives just an amazing glow. And I even have it in the Cajun, which is a little bit darker, so I use it like a bronzer, but the Magically Cool Liquid Powders are awesome. These are from MAC. Um, I forget how much these are, so I'm not even going to say a price, but um, I'll list it in my blog, but these are the best. Um, another product, let's see, my Well Rested from Bare Essentials. So this is an eye brightener. I use this um, on top of my cream concealer, which I'll talk about next because that's my next favorite product. Um, well Rest, it's an eye brightener. Um, it has more of a yellow base tone to it, so it will um, hide some of those dark circles that you have. And it is in powder form. It's the mineral powder. Um, and then, it, I don't know, I just I feel like when I put it underneath, like you can't see my dark circles. Um, and then it just totally brightens up your um, under your eye area. It also has kind of like light, reflect, light reflecting properties. I'm talking too fast. Um, that will help brighten underneath your eye area. And there is um, SPF 20, which is always a bonus just to have that sunscreen protection around your eye. So definitely recommend this. Um, this works for most skin tones. For the darker skin tones, sometimes I mix this with the foundation because sometimes it could be a little too light for those darker skin tones, but um, it usually works for everyone. So this is something awesome if you do have problems under your eye area like I do. So try this out. Um, my next product, I'm trying to go kind of fast with this video. Um, my next product is going to be my um, NC20. I go through these like so fast. I use this um, to conceal around my brow area. And then also if I have any blemishes or under my eye area. Um, I love this. They don't have a color. Um, I wish they had NC25, but they don't make it. So I have to stick with NC20. Um, so I did, I do wish they have an in-between color, but I like this because it's really creamy. Um, I feel like, I don't know, it just gives the perfect amount of coverage. Um, I just love the consistency, so it's a great concealer. If you don't like really thick concealers, then don't get this one. It's probably not the best one for you because it is very thick, but I like it thick, so whatever. Works for me. Okay. My next product that I probably grab all the time is going to be my Hemp Lotion. Um, this is in the pomegranate um, scent, so, oh my gosh, I have, I'm like already halfway done, and I have another one in my bathroom. So I use one for my room and one for my bathroom. Love this stuff. It smells so refreshing and good, and it just makes my skin feel super hydrated. 
And then I also have the mini one. This is in the original scent, um, but because they were out of the pomegranate, but try the hemp lotion if you're looking for a new moisturizer, um, body moisturizer. It's amazing. So definitely grab these a lot. Um, another thing that I notice I grab and have to have is my MAC um, makeup removal wipes. I go through these so fast. Like this is a pack of 100 sheets and I'm still running out. I think I have maybe like three more sheets in here so I definitely have to go pick some more up um, tomorrow. But I love the smell of these. I've tried so many um, makeup removers and I feel like a lot of them after I take my makeup off makes my skin feel really sticky. And um, I sometimes I don't like the scent or the texture of the wipes. but. Um, I love these ones. These are the best that I've tried so far. So I gotta have my MAC wipes for sure. Um, use this 24-7. Okay. Um, another thing, I'm gonna go into nail polish. Um, I use this nail polish all the time. I love this color. It's probably my favorite OPI nail polish. And this is Black Cherry Chutney. And as you could see, it's a deep purple, but it has kind of some red tones, jewel tones to it. I don't know. Something about this nail polish color, I love it. It's like I can't find anything that's better than this one. And I even have a backup, so I love Black Cherry Chutney. If you like those dark nail polish, I mean this isn't it. This is actually Linkin Park after midnight or after dark, I forget which one. But the dark nail polishes, I love. So this has to be my favorite one out of all of them. And then Linkin Park, After Dark, or Midnight, whichever one those it is, the lighter one, is my favorite. Okay, um, speeding up this video, sorry if I'm talking too fast, but um, the next thing is gloss. I love lip gloss, and lately my two favorite ones are um, the NYX, this is from NYX, is the Baby Rose, you've seen me use this in tons of videos, and then... Um, Usually when I go out, I like putting on Miami Babe. This is my favorite. Um, yes, I love these two. Um, two favorite colors from NYX. Um, use these probably the most out of all my billion lip glosses that I have. So, let's see. Um, I saved the best for last. I think it's what I totally can't live without ever out of anything. Um, and that is going to be my hairspray and my teasing comb. Um, big sexy hairspray, best hairspray I've ever used. Um, it's, it gives the perfect hold. Um, it locks in any style that you do. And then um, it has a really good scent too. So this, I've been using this for years and years and years. So best hairspray. And then I do um, have a finishing hairspray. This is going to be in my um, July favorites. This is the Kendra um, Perfect Medium Spray. And um, it's just a finishing spray. It's nice and light, so even if I spray it, it's not going to make my hair look crispy. It just kind of locks in the style that I just did, um, still leaving movement in my hair. And the scent, the smell of it is amazing. And then last but not least is my teasing comb. This is my must-have. Like, you've seen my videos, I'm obsessed with big hair. Um, this is what helps me get my big hair, is this teasing comb. Um, you can get these at Cosmoprof. Um, this brand is Amped Up. Um, it has a rat tail end and then just the brush. I'm sure you can find these anywhere at CVS, but um, this is the brand that I usually use. Um, and I always, I gotta have my backups, so I have three. And I go through these really fast because um, I tease my hair every day. But, um, okay, I need to finish this video right now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm going to list um, everything that I talked about in this video in my blog, arielhope.blogspot.com. And if you have any questions about them, leave me a comment below. Or you can go to my blog and check it out. So anyway, um, that is it for my video. And I will see you guys soon. And thanks again, um, Crystal. I think that's your name for tagging me. I'll see you guys later. Bye.